we shall next uh, try one more strategy so our greedy strategy too is greedy with respect to profit in the sense that uh, we are going to sort the profit array because intuitively we think including an object of uh, maximum profit and second maximum profit it will slowly take us to a global solution where uh, we have a subset s prime whose uh, profit is maximum so sort the profit array in increasing order in the other way it is uh, non decreasing order or uh, decreasing order if there are uh, duplicates uh, it is uh, non increasing otherwise it is uh, decreasing order so which means uh, you get to see uh, like uh, p1 prime is greater than or equal to p2 prime so on up to pn prime now we include this and then check the weight as uh, corresponding weight so w1 prime is less than or equal to w if so we go to the next object and check whether w1 prime is plus w2 prime is less than or equal to w and in case we are unable to include w w2 we look at uh, next object w3 w4 and so on up to w1 when you cannot include any more object you stop the procedure and output such a set okay and uh, intuition uh, question says maximize profit so let's sort the profit array and start including objects with maximum profit second maximum profit and so on let's do for this and uh, if you do that then we will have to start from here because this is maximum second maximum and so on so if we follow the strategy so first we will include uh, x4 the reason uh, w4 is 5 which is less than or equal to 6 and because of this the profit is uh, 50 next we look at uh, x3 and uh, x3 can x3 be included uh, no uh, already we have 5 so 5 plus 4 is not this so exclude uh, x3 then we check can we include x2 and uh, so 5 plus uh, 2 is not this so again uh, exclude uh, x2 and check with respect to x1 and it turns out that 5 plus 1 is less than or equal to 6 so include uh, x1 So now the profit earned us fifty plus ten sixty. Fine. So this is what uh, we have. Now look at uh, any other uh, solutions. And for example, uh, if my S is say x two comma x three, and the profit earned us. Uh, 20 plus 40, which is 60. This is also matching this. And if you look at uh, x3 and x1, the profit is only 50, so that is not uh, optimal. So this is uh, opt. And our algorithm is also giving optimum solution, or our strategy is giving optimum solution. So intuitively, we think uh, the strategy works. right uh, but let's fine tune this but it is so nice that for this example the strategy works that's an important point one should make a note there are examples where uh, the greedy strategy that we come up with uh, will work fine meaning the example supports the strategy but there are examples for which it will not work then the strategy doesn't work always 
And so which means you have a mix of examples and counter examples. If it works for all, if it works for all, naturally you ask for a proof of correctness and then the greedy strategy becomes an algorithm. So what we will do is, let's fine tune this and see whether we can convert this example into a counter example. So let's uh, fine tune this example. What we will do is uh, W is 1, 2, 4, 5 and profit is say 10 and say 25 and 40 and 50. So this alone I am changing it to 25, rest remains the same. Now, again, if you follow our greedy strategy, our greedy will give you this as the solution. It says uh, include uh, x4, then it will not include this, it will not include this, it will include the x1. So now profit earned us uh, 50 plus 10, 60. But look at this solution, look at x2 and x3, so the profit earned us uh, 25 plus uh, 40, so we get uh, 65. So that shows that uh, this is just uh, feasible but not opt, but you have a different uh, solution which is uh, optimum. So this shows that uh, greedy with respect to profit uh, fails. So greedy strategy with respect to profit it fails. Here is a counter example for which the solution given by the greedy is this profit earned as 60 but the optimum is uh, 65. Okay, so one has to be uh, careful because it is just the intuition. Intuition is saying uh, if we include uh, max object with uh, max profit, then object with second max profit, we will eventually reach to global optimum. But uh, if you carefully, there will be examples uh, which is supporting the greedy strategy. But one has to carefully fine tune and look for counter example if exist. But if our experimentation shows that with almost every non-trivial example we experiment it works, then we should ask probably uh, the it, it, it works. It works for every example that you try which means you should ask uh, there is some invariant that is being uh, preserved uh, as part of this strategy. So what is that invariant? Can we formalize that invariant? Can we look for a proof that indeed establishes that greedy strategy is indeed opt? Greedy strategy becomes a greedy algorithm. Okay, so we have seen two strategies and both are not working. Or can we look for a strategy which kind of uh, brings good practices of uh, strategy 1 and strategy 2? something like a blend of strategy 1 and strategy 2. So think through that, let's experiment that strategy next.